Hi, I'm John Ballou. Welcome back to the Edit Room. Today I'm going to show you how to slip video inside of a mask. For instance, I have this picture of the snail here, and I have a mask on it, and I can move the uh, picture inside of the mask. So to do this, let me hit Done here. I'll do this to this uh, girl with the French horn. Uh, and if you don't know what a mask is, it basically just crops the image when you drag and drop a mask on it. So you can get it from the effects browser under masks. And by applying it to the clip itself, um, it doesn't allow me to slip the video, or in this case a picture, inside of the mask. I can only move the mask around. So let me delete this from the clip. And what you need is a, an adjustment layer. And if you don't have an adjustment layer, what you can do is go to my website at johnballoo.com and you can download one for free. So now that you have the adjustment layer installed, you can select the clip, hit the letter X, and then hit the letter Q to apply the adjustment layer to the duration of the clip on top. And then apply your shape mask to the adjustment layer instead of the image. And then when you select the image, you can hit the transform button here and that allows you to slip it around. But what you'll notice is the adjustment layer is affecting everything below it. So if I select it and I move the picture, you can see my snail, snail image right below it. So I don't necessarily want to do that, although it would be a cool way to animate, you know, almost like a slide viewer. You can animate it, you know, sl one slide at a time. That might be kind of cool, but that's not what I want to do here. So let me click Done. And what I'm going to do is uh, select the clip and hold the Command key and select the Adjustment layer and then option G to create a compound clip. And I'll just call this French Horn Girl and hit OK. So now that it's a compound clip, the adjustment layer is only affecting what's inside of the compound clip, allowing me to move the clip around freely. And if I want to make further adjustments, I just double click on the compound clip and that allows me to change the mask properties. So I might do something kind of major like that. And then I'll click this little button to go back into my timeline and then my changes have been updated. So I'm going to do it to the bottom clip here. So again I want to hit the letter X for the duration of the clip. I'll select the adjustment layer and hit Q. And this time I want to put the, this adjustment layer just below the compound clip and apply my mask. Here's a quick little tip. If you hold the Option key and click on the clip, it not only selects the clip, but it also moves the playhead to that location. That's a pretty handy feature. So um, I meant to select the bottom clip and then the Transform tool that allows me to move the snail over here. And then I'll select the adjustment layer, make sure my mask is selected, I'll hit done because my transform button is still on. I want to turn that off by hitting done. And I'll affect my mask and move it around to exactly where I want it. And hold the command key, option G, call it snail. And now I have two compound clips and anything below it I can turn on and now I can put a background image and that allows me to do exactly what I need to do. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more, visit johnballoo.com and I'll see you next time in the edit room.